go goes down. Mm -hmm. Aside from that, they'll let it go forever if the arms are swinging. It's a cool sport. It's definitely a cool sport. I wish I knew what ice skate. Um, for anybody who's looking for something to do while we wait for this action to start, NJ Cop on the Party Borgata Network uh, is going on right now. There's late reg still open for the 5 o'clock event. Uh, I believe it's a 25K $100 event. Um, and there's another one starting at 7 p.m. So check it out. I'll probably be playing it shortly if these guys get, get this show on the road. They've been playing very fast poker. They there's sure been have. no tanking. This has really been like a like let's get this done table. Sure has. All of them are, are so good that they can think through very fast what they need to do. Asher just shot a wink to someone on the rail. It was probably Chris Hort. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's speculate who it is. I don't know. I think it was Chris. <laughs> His past and previous occupation was Mr. Steal Your Girl Guy. <laughs> oh <my> Noted. <laughs> and he's been playing poker for a little, a little while now as hobbies are drinking with steve who might be drinking right now steve it was a great run and so much fun to watch you go deep Asher flops uh, a 10. Bink. Matt's starting to go back into the forum that he used to have, just getting there quickly. He had a double gut shot on the flop. <laughs> uh, uh, this is a very good comment on Twitch. Double Gutter says, Sheldon Adelson says, gambling online is immoral. He told me this standing next to me while playing a $100 per pole slot machine, LOL. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Ah, uh, billionaires. That about sums it up. They're so funny. So I don't want to be like a get on a soapbox here, but for people who want to see the growth of online poker, um, there's a lot of stuff you could do, support PPA, uh, sign some petitions. And anybody who's listening who's not in New Jersey, especially Pennsylvania um, and New York, uh, check out PPA and be more active politically. And we need to get this into more states. out with king queen on the button very strong hand heads up ash hasn't shown his cards yet <laughs> there we go um if i'm asher now i'm <coughs> not gonna play a big pot i like to soul crush my opponents when i have them four or five to one make it look like they're never gonna get a full double up and kind of just like whittle them down really slowly Uh, Asher elected to say no thank you, Jamie, for the heads up tips. I'm going <laughs> to go ahead and three bet my nine and four. Uh, and I believe, I don't know, what did Stout start the hand with here? Like 25 bigs. He's piling. Stout will be wagering all of the remaining units. Yeah, I'm pretty sure and he's, he's going to go have with queen 30 big did. ones now. And fold. Kind of a textbook hand. Agreed. I'm fine with uh, Ash three bet folding there with the nine. Yeah, diamonds. I don't even mean don't three bet. I'm saying I'm not going to play big pots. Like I'm not going to try to like rip a marginal hand and let my opponent catch up and have 20 million. And fortunes change really fast and heads up. Every chip you lose, it's like double because your opponent gets it. And a 
five to one chip lead becomes almost even the first time you, you double them up. Yep, definitely true. And Asha knows if he gives Matt chips, it's not gonna be uh, fun. Matt with a very strong holding in the big blind. Mash is running into a little bit of bad luck right now. Hopefully he doesn't make a, uh, a stack size play. Imagine Ash will tank here for a few seconds and then release. Actually really appreciating the fact that the play has been kind of quick and there hasn't been any unnecessary tanking this whole tournament. Coldstone, I think we have a comment directed at you from at King Adu Suited. <laughs> Does your contract with Borgata exclude you from dating hot guys like him that are sponsored by poker stars? No, there's nothing in my contract that states <laughs> who I can or can't date or what sex I could date. So um, definitely send me, uh, send me something on Twitter. But I am married, so, you know, I really can't do anything. <laughs> but I appreciate it. Just playing a 20K heads up sit and go right now, no big deal. Just chatting it up. Did they, is that a confirmed chop that's uh, what they're playing for? Or? Yeah, yeah, the confirmed chop I gave before, I think it was, uh, yeah, you said Stout got 140, um, Asher got 130, and Carlos got 120,000. And they're playing for 20,000 right now. And once again, like Rhythm, Matt qualified on BorgataPoker.com. It's that easy. They both qualified on BorgataPoker.com for, I believe, $60. This is quite the parlay. And Ash is going to open. He's got tens. Very strong hand, two-handed. Well, I think it's time for me to sign in late to the Borgata.com $25,000 event. Ace 10 off here for Stout. He's got 13 million, and I'm sure he wants to try to get as much of it as he can. Asher with the jack five is just gonna fold. Matt Stout sporting his charity series of poker shirt. Follow them on Twitter at the CSOP Poker. It's kind of cool recently, some of these uh, charitable poker players sprouting up out of nowhere. Uh, the reg charity where they do, I think they accept donations and then uh, there's like a committee that decides where the money's going. Um, slightly more thoughtful uh, charitable donations than probably some other things you could donate to. 100% and Matt is the founder and president of the charity series of poker. Great job, Matt. It's good. It's really good for changing the image of poker players. I think that we have a bad rap for things that we didn't even do, like ultimate bet scandals and all that stuff, where it was just a few really corrupt people um, during the boom of poker. So that's when a lot of people were hearing about it, and that's very unfortunate. And I think that there are things that we could do to turn it around. And this, uh, this charity and Reg Foundation are two really good things. I agree. Interesting flop. Avasha flopped the five and 
Matt Stout has a good shot. I don't think Ash is going to not bet any time he hits the board going forward. Matt's got kitchens. All suited. Over suited. And I think he'd like to make a move with this hand because it's just so much fun for online players to play it. I'm sorry, I let the cat out of the bag what Kitchens is. For all the people that didn't know what it is, you're now <laughs> privy to some inside online information. That's a pretty strong card for Matt. I think Asher might lead again. Either way, there's going to be a lot of laughter when Matt's hand is turned over. Ten three is the seven deuce of live poker online. Is he going to find the street of value here? Right.
for one, bro.
That's like Will the Thrill just chilling in the front row and you didn't know that. How the hell did that happen? That's the only way you That's can like get That's like me compared. sitting in the front row and you didn't know. Hi guys, Matthew with the John 6, out flopping Asher's Jack 7. Okay. Um, sound working, hopefully. Uh, you guys let me know uh, if you can hear some stuff and we'll start commentating again. Sounds like we Yay. might be back. We're back. Cool, we're back, yeah. We missed a few hands, uh, but that's okay. And we said a bunch of funny stuff, but that's okay. <laughs> Our best work. And very insightful commentary, so you guys missed the best part. <laughs> Matt um, with the rally cap. <laughs> I want to thank Jerry, Jerry Callahan for some of his updates. Uh, this this is really bad news for Matt Stout if he wins the tournament and like runs really good because he's going to have to wear that stupid hat for the rest of his life. Yep. Or at least you don't do tables. that. Mm -hmm. Got a shout out from Anthony Zeno is listening. Says we're doing a great job. What a great year Anthony's had. Uh, you want anything lately? He's just <laughs> ripping down everything he can. A couple of WPTs, a couple. couple of high rollers. Yeah, no big deal. Great job, Anthony, and you're doing a great job representing poker. He's another former lawyer. Showered the law. I was like, I'll just win all the poker tournaments. He did a, a better transition than I did. the resume that you have. <laughs> no, <laughs> I showered law and then min cashed the world. <laughs> oh, very nice. Well, his transition took a little bit longer. <laughs> and then it Oh, popped. are you? Yeah, maybe that's what's going to happen. I just maybe, need another Jane, couple of years. Maybe. And some sweet shades and a Hugo Boss suit, though. You do need a Hugo Boss <laughs> suit, for sure. And maybe just play a little bit better. Oh. <laughs> Or, or, a or a little bit worse. I am just kidding. Or a little bit worse. Oh, poor Zeno. <laughs> oh, no, that wasn't a Zeno slate. I was just curious. That wasn't that a Zeno oh. slate, no. I hope it was. I was like, geez. <laughs> that was, no, that was, that was uh, me just, you know. Uh, I just got to get, get the chips in the middle a little bit more. Maybe get a little drunk, wear a Guinness hat, win some money. Exactly. <laughs> well, Matt didn't get much of his money in behind today, except for that one hand on the river. Um, Biggest part of the tournament for him. Sure was. Hey now says, with such a chip advantage, what would your strategy be, Jamie? Um, I would, as I was talking about before, the sound is probably off. Um, I think it's kind of soul crushing to be so dominated in chips to be like one to five um, and not be able to win a significant pot. So if I were Asher, I would just, I would do like the nine four suited is fine to like three bet, but I wouldn't let Matt win a big pot. Like I wouldn't be trying to bloat pots and like letting him double up. I would be taking these small stabs and I'd obviously be playing my value hands for big pots and, well, and nothing else. He's still with three betting and, and opening fours and, and I believe he would have called the shove right there. But yeah, I'm, I'm sure he's trying to control it as best as he can. And Matt, I'm sure is, is trying to get, you know, a bloated pot together for himself to win. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I mean, Matt still has a huge advantage in general, not chip count and not in this particular tournament, but in final table play.
I think Asher's played really well. I think Asher's played better than everyone at this final table. Even just that bet size, like I can't like knowing that would work and it basically scooping up an extra two million chips that I would never have thought to <laughs> even bet that big. Yeah, we don't talk poker much together, Jan. What? We're not in the same poker talking circles. <laughs> Kids, be nice. I don't know what that means, so I'll just take it. I'll let uh, it go. It, it, means he was insulting it just you. means you're not going to know. No, I wasn't insulting. I just said. Let me narrate. Yeah, thank you. He was insulting you. Monster <laughs> flop for Asher right now. I just think, uh, I still think that was an ambitious raise size, especially because Matt's still, like, he's finally has his personality back, but, like, he was mad at himself for, like, an hour. I think he um, called. I, I think he, he called knowing it was a bad call. I think he might and have he called. And doesn't, he doesn't do that often. No, so he doesn't. So Asher got pretty lucky that Matt made an uncharacteristically bad call. I think the sizing helped Asher. Made it look a little bluffy. But I was just saying on a different level that if you're playing a bad player, you can make that bet size and make it look bluffy. When you're playing a good player, it's so, so obvious that you're making it look bluffy. Ex except. In that situation, if he makes a value bet there, Matt, I mean, Matt's going to call a small value bet, but if he if he makes a three-quarters pot, Matt might be like, this is just pure value, where when he overbet the pot, you know, he bet seven million to about six, I believe it was, Matt just started feeling he was trying to steal it from him. And and, and if a sophisticated player is going to think that way, where a novice player is not. So I think Asher really uh, really thought that way, it went through, and, and really did, did a great job in, in fooling Matt, who doesn't get fooled too often. Matt showing off his New York Rangers tattoo. Go Rangers. Good luck tonight. Yeah, it'd be nice to see a Ranger Island this series. That would be nice. I would I would go to a couple of those games if I can get my hands on those tickets. I am a Ranger fan. How about you? You're an Islander guy, right? Well, I grew up on Long Island watching them win all the championships, <laughs> but the Skybox tickets I gather at the Garden, so I've been to a lot more Ranger games recently. Um, but uh, I like to be a New York fan. It gives me more teams to root for. Let's go Buffalo Bills, too. Flop means nothing right now, so it's going to come down to who wants to sneak in. Looks like Matt's winding himself up. And Matt's having. licking his lips, the three of hearts. <laughs> it's a little back to a flush draw, back to a straight draw. He just doesn't know Ash has got the same back doors. Both players calling. Oh, one player calling with nothing. One player betting with nothing. Great game. There's and there the it is. Oh. There's that horn. Oh, hi. Guys, this might Told be you guys. a big hand. Got 3.1 million in the middle. Ooh. Ash is batting his draw, and there's no way Matt's going to fold his draw. But will Matt raise? Well, Matt, I'm probably just going to peel you so many. You think you have so many outs. I think Matt doesn't want to peel and end this hand with nine how high. Much, so uh, Matt has how much is he two behind? times the pot right now. That's what makes it tricky. Like, I think he's Matt just should be all in right now, thinking he has the only hot draw. Try to take down the hand with nine high. Yeah. We'll go for the draw if he's called. He does not know what he's He's going to get through. It's not if he piles here, he will what? Not get through if Do you he know piles. math? <laughs> I don't. I don't think Ash is calling off. He can't Matt call Schiff. off. He just doesn't have the odds. He's one card to come, and he has. He's nine outs. He's gonna fold. You play against Matt Stout. That doesn't turn it off too often. No, but it just doesn't matter. I mean, if you stuff, if he stuffs, it just doesn't matter. Like Ash has Queen High, and he's not gonna call off. Well, this leads Matt into that bad spot. Now he has nine high, and he's gonna have to bluff. Yep. Interesting. I like taking the shot with the raise on the turn. A little two ball in there. A little bit more. All Matt's thinking about is, why couldn't I get a heart? Little does he know right now. <laughs> Both sporting some 
Matt really looks like... ish facial hair. I was going to say, Matt looks like he really wants a pile right now. He sure does. I mean, on the turn with the hearts and the guts and the up and down draw, I think it was a good spot for him, too. But if Astro called, he'd be out. Wowzers. Yeah, I was going to say, that looked like a... That looked like that I'm going to go all in tank. Nice hand, Matt. Very nice. I think when he calls the turn he turns it and over, he shows up. There comes Asha with the smile. Guys, that is not a smile of me being happy. No, that's like I, I hate that's you, so I'm smiling so I don't punch you. That's a grimace, <laughs> and hopefully the booth doesn't talk about that hand back here. <laughs> no, that's a good shot. I mean, when, when Stout calls the turn, he very credibly could have a king. Like, he would be calling down with a big pair and, like, um, obviously Asher missed and there's a lot of draws that he's going to miss playing his hand like that but I also think he may have folded a pair um, in that same spot I like he's Ash's not going to fold bet. the king but I like Ash's bet um, and I like his fold well played Matthew I think Ash is saying why don't you pile the turn I was going to call with queen high he, he was never calling with Queen High Cold Stone. I smell a side bet. <sighs> I think he was. <laughs> He's just going to go, I don't care about math, I just call. He's saying. You put him on 9-5. Yeah, 9-5 of yeah, hearts, I exactly. I he 9-5 <laughs> of hearts. He's saying I have a bigger heart draw than you. Uh, D-I-T-C-H. <laughs> Matt with a little momentum now. I'm telling you, he's, he really screwed himself with that rally cap. He's got to wear that dumb thing forever. He's probably going to lose his fiance over it. Even to the range. Date game. that guy. Come on. <laughs> he brought his fiance to the Dominican Republic tournament. She's a very nice girl. Again, don't know why she's with him, but I'm sure we don't <laughs> see it now. Matt's a great guy, and I'm just joking. Ash taking it to the streets. <laughs> Ash is going to play this hand a little hood. <laughs> Scott Blumstein says, easy bet call with Queen High. <laughs> yeah, I agree. <laughs> You rip so thin. <laughs> Ash is putting a bit of pressure on Matt. And Matt likes his ace high. But that call might seem standard online. It's not a standard live play. It's above the rim. Will Asher fire two? Asher smells a five, which would be the end of the tournament. I believe if Asha fires again, he wins, but can he fire again after Matt called him? Looks like 400's going forward, 4 million's going forward. I tell you, Asha has spirit. Kid got hot. <laughs> Told you he was going to play the hand hood. Ash, pull hey, the hook. it's Rum Cake. Rum Cake is Scott Ball, and he basically started the poke, poker Twitch revolution and is responsible for this new stuff coming up. So he just says hi. Nice. Hi. hi. Thanks for helping modernize our yeah. <laughs> communication systems. Be tough for Matt to call right now. It's pretty much going to be uh, fold or put it in, all of it, and he folded. Nice hand, Asher. And now Asher shows the eight high. Did Asher show it? Back. Oh, payback. I don't know. If did he? he I don't think he did, but he should have flashed an eight. 
Well, it seemed to indicate that he did, but uh, maybe <laughs> he didn't. Um, I like uh, Nash Vegas 777 on Twitch says you're responsible for me getting into poker and taking out a second mortgage on my house <laughs> to rum cake. <laughs> yes, uh, so Twitch has been a video gaming uh, platform for a really long time and now it's got poker too and poker can be very much more expensive than video games but also more profitable for some. I've yet to make a Twitch account or go on Twitch but I've heard awesome things. I have two. I'm hearing enough today to maybe get a Twitch account. It's fun to watch. Sometimes, like, I'll watch certain people's streams because they're very informative and I like watching their style of play. And then some other people are just so entertaining. Yeah, like, I, I, I put Big Dog because really he gets drunk and he's funny and he yeah, like, like interacts that. on the message board. And uh, the one day I hosted his viewers because he'd busted from everything. So he came up. He hosted me, actually. And he goes, hey, you have 300 new people and they're used to me being really drunk. I'm like, OK, when in Rome. So I start pounding beers and I win the tournament. <laughs> I was like, thanks, big dog. That's sick. <laughs> Sometimes that works, young people, yep. but not too often. <laughs> Well, Jay Carver was the first really successful poker twitcher, but I really think Rumcake had a, a lot to do with that, him getting into it. Ash has got the lead in this hand, uh, big hand, and it's an ace against the king, and Matt's getting a little bit short. He's got maybe five times the pot right now, 20% of, he can increase by 20%. I usually use that as a spot to try to figure there's no smaller bet to put in than an all in. But again, my math is different than others. It does have 32 big blinds. It's kind of a lot. Yep. Seems like a lot. Sure does seem like that way. Until they get in the middle. <laughs> then it's not so much. I mean, another <laughs> way to look at it is he has 12 million and there's 3 million in the middle, so he can have a 25% increase also with winning the hand. Another way to look at it is betting four times the pot to win one quarter. <laughs> Another is Cold no, Stone and I are going to fight. Another is knowing you're going to win four out of four times doing it. <laughs> Except for this time, which must be the fifth out of four, four times. Four out of five. <laughs> uh, I, was re I was referring to Asher shutting it down. I'm teasing you. Came. Oh. I'm enjoying you guys teasing Pleasant. each other. <laughs> Thank God you're between us. Yeah, we would have choked each other to death, hmm. which would be really fun for the live stream. That's uh, when they would pan in on us. <laughs> well, I've been learning how to choke lately, so be careful. <laughs> <laughs> We'll leave it at that for our imaginations. Left. <laughs> Here comes Matt. Clearly probably thinks he has the best hand because no one has an ace heads up. And that's trouble for Matt. That's really it bad It strengthens for Matt. his hand, makes it less likely that Asher has an ace. I think he's checking, looking to call. And also, Matt is now chopping with some slightly better kings than his. Some, like two. Yeah. <laughs> Five, seven, eight. Heads up, you're, you got all of them. <laughs> Asher could have all of them. Yes, he can. But he doesn't this time. And let's see what decision Matt makes after Asher bets. Uh, no rum cake. This is just a one day. Uh, f this is a final table of a $560 event. I think 4.5 million is right. Here comes Matt. What are you going to do, Matt? Matt's got a huge decision. It's heads up and he has a great hand. Yeah, I don't see him folding this hand. It's just so likely to be good. You don't think he finds a fold here ever? Mm, no. I mean, this is a much tougher fold than the one he didn't fold earlier in my opinion. Uh, maybe he's regretting that, that call and maybe it'll make him make a better decision this time. Well, I was thinking that. Well, heads up, it's kind of tough. I mean, yeah. he, that last ace on the river really, really hurt Matt. It's only two other aces in the deck. And if you're a math person, <laughs> the other guy can't have it. 
The only thing is, does Matt put in a raise here, but I don't think he'll get called by a worse hand, so I don't think he would do that. I wouldn't be surprised if he folded. And he yeah. Calls. Both times he knew he was making of bad calls. Of course he's calling there when the ace hits the river. It's just funny because both times you could see Matt knowing it's not a yeah. good call. He knows. Even as he put the chips yeah, in, actually. Yeah, like he, he wanted to like just reverse yep. it. Like, yep. never mind. That's a weird psycho like psychological thing in poker. There just are times like you, your butt's been in that seat a million times and you know you're doing something. You know you're making a bad decision and you still make it. And like, I don't know why we do it, but it definitely happens and like, Oh, the best part is when you're watching that happen, the guy's like, you I know, know you it. have, the guy says yep. out loud, mm -hmm. I know you have an ace, I call, and as he loses the pot, he tells everyone at the table, you I see? I knew it. Like, I knew. It's like an insurance did policy. You know? yeah. <laughs> but did you really know? Definitely insurance policy. I call, you have a five, <laughs> yeah, see, I knew. You know who was the king of that for a long time, and I feel like he ha doesn't do it anymore, but Negreanu used to always do that. It would be high stakes poker, and I'd, he'd be like, you have four or five here every single time. You have it, you have it, you have it. He'd put in like $50,000 in the pot, and the guy shows four or five, he's like, I know. <laughs> I do. And I was like, why do you do that? It was, it was his thing for a long time. But you really don't know. You just sang it, obviously. Matt now down to 16 big blinds. A stack he's very familiar playing. <laughs> that is not a slate. He's, just, he's very familiar. How to, he yeah, knows how no, to play I the 16 big blind stack well. I do know he knows how to play it, but whenever I look at Matt's stack, he's got 50 to 100 bigs. Oh, no, I, I just meant that he's very... <laughs> yes, yes, he, he's, he's very, uh, very intelligent at all levels. Exactly. Both of them are used to playing 14-hour sessions, so time will never be a factor on their endurance. When was your last 14-hour live commentary session? Oh, my God. <laughs> I really did do one. <laughs> the one we did for uh, the last WPT Borgato was un unreal. It really did. Like, it ran four hours longer than any other one I ever did. We just were sitting in there and we're like, we're, we're like, can we order dinner again? <laughs> it's like, it's like 1 a.m. What'd they say? <laughs> they, everyone else already left. Probably anyone who could order food or like they're closed down. <laughs> well, Matt's got top pair, brutal. Ash has got middle pair, and neither player believes each other. And it's head to head. So there's going to be a little bit of action here. Ash surely hoping for a three of hearts or any heart or a six. Does not do much. Kind of leaves Asha with just the floors is out. If he remains in the hand. Matt's down to 4.8 million checking. I'm sure he wants to make sure he gets his chips in. He took his rally cap off. Wowzers. Oh, he got the six a little bit Three late. Three pair for Ash. Yeah, not that exciting. Which might make him think Matt can't have any then. <laughs> he still has check down value, showdown value. I think Matt's going to take a stab here and try to get paid off. I don't Probably see about like two million. Needs. Well, he only has uh, <laughs> 4.8 left. I think two would be ringing, but I think that would be about the right amount. He could shove. Yep. I feel like, yeah, shoving looks less strong than betting two million. I agree. I still don't think Ash could call with three pair. I mean, he needs a 10 to beat him, and he has it, so it's not the, it's not a bad call. He has second pair, heads up. Yeah, second pair, heads up. Yeah, I, w I don't hate the call if no. he ends up making I don't it. No, I said it's going to be really hard for him not to make the call. He did check into him. If I'm Asher, I want to fold just because I want to maintain my chip position right now. Yeah, but you I don't. don't. I don't want to give up. I don't want to. I don't want Matt to have a chance right now. And like you're you're relinquishing a small pot where you're not even sure how, like where you stand in the hand to just like on to the next one. Well, you're not ever going to double through me. Go ahead. Well, it makes sense. You're, he's only going to have eight million if he wins instead of having mm -hmm. quite a bit more, about 13 million. I don't know if he's going to find the full heads up. He's got three pair. I can't assume he has a six, a deuce, or a four. So it leaves just a nine or a pocket pair to beat him. 
Kind of like that second ace on the last hand. Looking for a live tell. Ain't gonna get it from Matt, and that's a fold. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like he wants to that's fold really bad. Fold. I'll be pretty impressed, it'll be a pretty good fold. Ah, uh, uh, I don't know what to do, he's folding. Nice, nice fold, Asher. Yeah. Good fold, Ash. And Matt throws the all-in button at him in frustration. Maybe the two million route was a better route that time, Jamie. The what? The two million bet on the river might have been called. No, I, I don't know. I feel like that looks stronger than shoving does. It might look stronger, but the impact of the two million is not that bad. Mm -hmm. Matt has the I got away with one look, and he didn't get away with one. He just, he had it. It's funny, like, doesn't he? He looks like, haha, sucker, bad fold. <laughs> I gotta learn how he's to replicate that, that look. Yeah, I know, I really he do. Knows about that. Big Tommy Guns, sending his regards, saying we're doing a great job. Tommy's been cashing in everything at the Borgata for the last two years. Shout out to Tommy Guns. It's a good deal. Thanks for listening. Great guy. Asher leading out with an ace. Kind of looks like aces, but we call it the transvestite for various <laughs> reasons. We call it that because as you're peeling the floor, it looks like an ace, but as you get lower, it is not an ace oh and something God. entirely different. Something you didn't want to see. A four. But I digress. <laughs> Ashiv making a really nice pile there. He really knows how to make his chips into artistic decorations. Or not. 88% of the chips in play decent lead. I think Ash just doesn't want to get off the table. I just think he wants to stay here with his chips. <laughs> food, glorious food. We get food too for being here. This is a great they place. They feed and water us. It's pretty nice. It's the best place <laughs> in the world. <laughs> We're getting told that the uh, ace four uh, is not politically correct. <laughs> By who, Alan? <laughs> no, by Tony Mark, but it's okay. Um, Whoa, um, Colson is so Hall of Fame. I agree. <laughs> I agree. It's true. I apologize if somebody <laughs> misunderstood what I was saying. <laughs> or understood what he was saying. Thanks for throwing me <laughs> under the bus. <laughs> and I don't condone any types of behavior by people. I'm just talking about how cards look. <laughs> It will get worse over the next hour, I promise. <laughs> oh, yeah, this would have really devolved. If you were there with me when it was like the 14 hour one, by the end, we weren't even saying words. We're just like, like we just take our headphones off and throw them. <laughs> I like to see him grind it out, make grind a sweat. It out, make a sweat. They're playing for 20,000 bucks. Got a visit from future Asher. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Matt's up to 19 bigs. Matt's got that look in his face like uh, it's time for me to start hitting cards or we'll go home. That opens a suit at Jack Six. I think, he, I think he limped in. Go ahead. You go first. Oh, we got Griffin Griffins in the chat now. What's up, buddy? Ash is holding the King <laughs> Four. We used to call that the Eddie Mac. Guy got destroyed playing it most of his life. Ash is going to lead his King high. 
Matt's looking at a six. The two overs. And two flush draws on the board. Well, the four is going to give Asher a little bit of hope right now. It's probably going to keep the pot small. It's a lot more interesting when no one has any showdown value. <laughs> and yep. you just have to keep betting. Match shows a winning hand. That moves up to about 8.5 million. So it's interesting. Uh, we burned through about four of the six people in about 50 hands. And now this heads up match is about half of the final table. They've been heads up for quite a while. Um, played some interesting hands so far. It's really been entertaining poker, but right about now with Matt with 16 bigs, it's uh, it's kind of time for him to try to find that double if he can. I'm sure he's been looking for it now for an hour, and Asher just doesn't want to give it to him. Rightly so. It's a nice looking prize pool. Again, those numbers aren't correct. Uh, Carlos Alvarez got quite a bit more in the chop. I think he got 120. But right now, whoever wins this between the two of them will get the most. It'll either be 160,000 for Matt or 150,000 for Asher. And uh, if you guys uh, who are watching on Twitch and listening to the live stream, um, if you're sitting at home in New Jersey, we have the New Jersey Championship of Online Poker right now on the Party Borgata Network. Um, there's a 5 o'clock tournament. It was a 25K guarantee uh, that I believe late register will open for another 20 minutes. And a 7 p.m. Uh, tournament starting in 17 minutes. A uh, million dollars in guarantees over the next 10 days, and you should check it out. And www. RYMAXINC.com, the number one player report program, www.raymaxinc.com, one of our new sponsors we're happy to have. And that's what they're playing for. Just a trophy? At this point. <laughs> and 20,000. How rich are you, Coldstone? You keep discounting this 20K like it's nothing. They might have even chopped the 20. I don't think so. 20K is about four times my net worth, but if <laughs> I just got 100,000 10 minutes ago, it wouldn't be worth as much. <laughs> They're playing for pride and the trophy. The 20,000 is great also, but right now both of these guys want to win. If they were playing for zero, they'd be playing hard. Yeah, I think uh, I think some of the Twitter needles that people have been dishing out about Stout never winning any tournaments at Borgata, I think he probably wants it even more than Ash wants it. Well, I, I mean, I, I can agree with you, except for the fact that Ash wants one. Ash wants to be known. Ash wants to break out. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, I'm sure Matt has so many reasons why he, he wants this, but, you know, Ash still has his whole bunch of reasons also. He hasn't done it yet. But yes, I think Matt wants to squash a couple of people. <laughs> Thinking of his ace high is good right now. Nice bet by Asher playing a stack properly. Shows the nothing. Got a little gut shot and an over. Just didn't show it. Yeah. I think it would be fun to be on a live stream and then lie to your opponent the whole time about your holdings. <laughs> like knowing that they will find out half an hour later. Just be a little like a little bit messing with their mind for no reason. <laughs> well, I, had, I had that dilemma with uh, Kevin Stam and Stam Dog. I told him I had him. And we went on break a minute later, and I realized he's going to see it one day, so I told him I didn't have him. <laughs> and then he steamed, and I knocked him out of the tournament. So being honest worked out for me that one time. 
Yeah, in cash, I four bet king queen. It was, it was a good spot to four bet, and my friend folded queens, um, and I Showed the lofted my cards a little too high by accident, um, <laughs> and he saw the queen. And luckily, he told me he saw the queen because I would have lied <laughs> and been like, "I had aces, don't worry." Where was this? That you, someone folded. It was here. Queen? It was Chris Chick. <laughs> oh. And now I get to shame him. Carlos just stopped by to say hi, just telling him how great of a job he did at back-to-back -back wins. Good run, Carlos. Congratulations. Alex, nice to meet you. Sure he's going to have a little pep in his basketball shot after we get back home after this? Thank you. Good job. Asher wins another pot. So he's got 88% of the chips in play. He's been slowly chipping them down. He's been really methodical, playing very well, not letting Matt get that double that Matt needs. Matt looks a little, like, uh, frustrated. Well, a little like withered him. right now. Well, he wants that double in the... Dawn Ash. So I'm saying the way I play those small pots gets really frustrating. You you were a hundred percent right. I gotta just stop throwing thirty-five bigs in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you could continue to do that if you want. I mean, yeah. And fine. advocating it to others on live stream too, that would be good. And I think that the three <laughs> hands I would have done it were perfect and they won those hands. <laughs> and the tournament would have been over on that uh, hard hand. I believe one of them was King Four. And it would have got looked up by Ash's ace jack, and you would have been out of the tournament. Oh, that hand. Yes, that one. Now, on that hand, I said uh, Ash should have taken it down. We see the back of Maurice Hawkins. Playing in the tournament out here, fresh from Florida. Where's that? Oh, there he is. Hawkins. Maurice Hawkins. You see Brazil on his right? I see Brazil. Shout out to Brazil. Asher with the 10 4. Vamo. Mm -hmm. So right now he's got about 10 to 1 uh, chip lead on Matt, maybe 9. Matt with a queen four, trying to find a better holding. This time's running very, very quickly for Matt. Has around 16 big blinds. 16 bigs as opposed to about 90. But that one double is so huge and Asher just doesn't want to give that to him. Asher with backdoor spades. Matt with betting chips. Did Asher pick up a little bit of a tell on the way Matt put those chips down now? He's thinking a little bit longer than I think he should with this hand. I think and he has king high and the king of spades, so. I believe he, he did, and I don't think he really liked the way Matt dropped that bet, and Matt likes to see anything he can at see bet Sure, Asher hopes he shuts down.
three does nothing on the river except give Matt some thought of queen. Makes high. Ashes king high that much stronger. Sure does. As well as Matt's, which he checks back. Not happy that he checked it back, obviously, after seeing the two hands, but nobody does know. They both did have two pair. And with that, we're going to take a break. All righty, enjoy your 15-minute break. Back here to conclude shortly. 